In this video, I'm going to share with you how much money you can make by selling covered call options. I'm also going to give you some tips to help you make better decisions when you're selling covered call options. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how you can use covered call options to generate awesome cash flow every single month in your account. Hello everyone and welcome back to my life of learning. My name is Randy Perez. Please know that I am not a financial advisor and this video is not meant to be investment advice of any kind. I am, however, a 22 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. Selling covered call options against stock that has been assigned to us is one of our favorite ways to generate cash flow in the stock market. I'm going to share with you several little known tips you can use to consistently generate cash flow every month on your covered call option positions. And stay tuned in until the very end of this video where I'm going to share with you where you can find information on the best way to roll out your covered call options. Before we get started, I just ask one thing of you. Please hit the like button to support this channel. I'm about to give you some really awesome information that I know you're going to find great benefit in. So if you appreciate the kind of information I provide for you on this channel, please support it by hitting the thumbs up button. Let's get started. First and briefly, if you're new to option trading, when I refer to a covered call option position, I'm referring to a position in which you own 100 shares of a stock and have sold a call option against that stock. Here you see an example of a covered call position we're in right now in WPC. WP Carry is a real estate company that owns properties in the United States and Europe. They own single tenant office, industrial, warehouse, and retail facilities. Here you see in the red box that we currently own 300 shares of WPC. We paid $70 per share for the stock. To turn this into a covered call position, as you see in the blue box, we sold the March 19th 70 call options. If you look all the way over at the right side of the blue box under the average price column, you see that we were paid $1.26 per share for those call options. If you look at the column to the left of that, you see those options are now only worth 49 cents per share. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I mostly like to trade in dividend paying stocks. There are quite a few reasons for that, but one of them is that on top of selling covered call options against the stock, you're also positioning yourself to collect dividends. Now, we did not own this stock on January 14th, but as you can see here, if we had owned WPC on the X dividend date, which was December 30th, then we would have received $1.04 per share for the quarterly dividend on January 15th. So the first tip I'd like to share with you is that when it comes to covered calls, consider doing covered calls in dividend paying stocks. They tend to be more stable stocks and they also will give you that extra cash flow bonus every time they pay a dividend. Some of the covered call positions that we're in, they actually pay monthly dividends. If you have multiple positions on at a time, it's amazing how fast those dividends can add up. But how do we know when it's the right time to sell a covered call option? Here's another stock we have a covered call position in. That's the CME group. The question is, if you own this stock already, is it a good time to sell a call option in CME? The answer is absolutely. Let me show you why. Here you see the daily chart of CME. In the top right hand corner, notice where the white arrow is pointing to. As you can see, CME has advanced nicely from around 180 per share back in February to where it's at now, right around 210 per share. But notice over the past five trading days, CME has kind of stalled out and really hasn't gone anywhere. In fact, over the past three days, the high for that day has been progressively declining as compared to the high of the previous day. Let's now look down at the volume section at the bottom of the chart in the white box. As you see here, the volume has been dominated by strong up days. However, notice that about seven days ago, volume peaked at two and a half million shares. Since then, volume has been decreasing. Also notice that two of the recent volume bars are actually red because they were down days. By looking at the candlesticks up top and the volume at the bottom, it helps us know that the upper momentum in CME has begun to fade. As such, we expect CME to come back down to test its previous support, which will probably be around where you see the white line, the previous waves high, around 195 per share. But for the purpose of our discussion here, is it a good time to sell a covered call option? In my opinion, it absolutely is a good time. If CME's upward momentum has stopped and it tries to retrace some back down to 195, then this would actually be the perfect time to sell a covered call option. Of course, we don't know for sure what's going to happen, but we do know by looking at some of the technical indicators that the odds are in our favor that CME will at minimum hang out where it's at for a while and trade sideways, but more than likely, if momentum stays weak, it will decline and try and find support at that previous high around 195. So it appears to be a good time to sell a covered call option, 
but what strike price should you sell a covered call option at? That depends on what your goal is. If your goal is simply to try and generate as much income as possible, and you don't mind the stock being called away from you, then you would just sell the next highest strike price call option for where the stock's trading at now. As you can see here on the upper right area, CME is trading a little over 206 per share. If you follow the red arrow down to the option section, you see that the next highest strike price would be at 210. Now look all the way over to the left of that, and in the purple box, you see that the 210 covered call option is going for between $6 and $6.70 per share. So you should be able to get around $6.25 per share for selling that covered call option. If you bought CME stock, at its current price of $206.68, that $6.35 would pay you a 25.5% annualized cash on cash return. That's a pretty good return. Personally, I'd be happy with that. But let's say that you did not want CME to be called away from you. Let's say that your goal was just to pocket some extra cash, but keep the stock. What strike price should you sell your covered call option at? Let's go back to the chart. It looks like the next area of resistance would probably be where the white line is up top, around the two previous highs from July of 2019 and February of 2020. That'd be right around $225 per share. So if your goal was to keep the stock, you want to sell a covered call option now since the upper momentum appears to be fading and you want to sell the covered call option at the strike price right at that resistance of 225 or the one right above that, which is 230. As you see here, if you look out to April, there actually isn't a 225 strike call option. So you would sell the 230 strike call option. That option is going from between $1.25 per share and $2 per share. So if we go in the middle of that at 162 per share, that would give you an analyzed cash on cash return if you bought the stock at its current price of 6.5%. That's not a great return. But keep in mind that you're selling a covered call option that is 11.3% out of the money. When you're doing covered call options, you just need to decide if you're okay with the stock being caught away from you or if you'd rather not have that happen. You get more for the covered call option if you sell it closer to the current strike price. However, if you don't want the stock to be caught away from you, then you're better off selling a covered call option at a strike price just above the next highest resistance area and preferably 7 to 10 plus percent out of the money. That will put some cash into your pocket right away and give your stock room to go up while you let time decay eat away at the option you sold so you can do it all over again the next month. And all of this while holding on to your stock. If what I just talked through was really useful, then I would love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. Thank you for doing that. As promised, in a few moments, I'm going to share with you where you can find information on the best way to roll out your covered call options. But if you'd like to get an alert as soon as we make trades, similar to the trades I just talked through, consider the benefits of becoming a patron at the link in the description below. At any one point in time, we have on around 30 to 40 different option positions. Some of them are short puts and others are covered calls. On a weekly basis, we also buy stock outright in our retirement account. If you become a patron, you get an alert every time we make an outright stock purchase or sell puts and covered call options in our trading accounts. At the beginning of this video, I told you I was going to share with you where you can find information on the best way to roll out your covered call options. You can find that extremely valuable information at the link above and the description below in the video entitled, How to Roll Out Covered Call Options. In that video, I go through every scenario you could possibly encounter when rolling covered call options and how to roll those options successfully. Until next time, Happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.